Hi, I'm John Alexandrov, the creator of Foundations of Wealth, Take It to the Bank, and The New Science of Getting Rich. For the time I spend teaching financial courses and coaching, I'm often asked questions like, what's the budgeting process and should I have a budget? Now, as basic as that question may seem, it's a little bit more complicated than you may perceive. Of course, the answer is yes, that we all should have a budget. We're at the beginning now of 2016, and I've actually had my financial goals, budget and expenses, income and expenses uh, completed for a couple of months now because you know, I certainly wanted to hit the ground running in 2016 and have everything all laid out. But for those of you who haven't done that yet, then the question is, the answer is a resounding yes. You absolutely should have a budget and you should have your expenses tracked, which we'll talk about in a future video. Why is it so important to have a budget? Well, first of all, it does help us be much more aware and cognizant of where our money's coming from and where it's going. So that's the first thing. Second of all, it helps us to develop financial discipline. Uh, one of my clients and good friends, James, Jane Parsons, just reminded me a couple of weeks ago, I was at Ken and Jane's house uh, over New Year's and we went to the uh, Rose Parade and went to the Rose Bowl and we just had a tremendous time, had New Year's Eve at their home. And Jane reminded me when we were having dinner one night, she said, John, you taught me a very important financial principle a few years ago. You said, discipline equals freedom. And she said to me, you were exactly right because the more disciplined we are with anything, the more we have of it. So when we're more disciplined with our time, we have more free time. When we're more disciplined with our exercise regimen and our nutrition, well, we have better health. And of course, when we're more disciplined with our money, then we have more of it. So having a budgeting process also allows us to be more disciplined with our money as well. Now, there is some tracking software out there that allows you to do budgeting and see literally hour by hour, day by day, how you're doing against your budget. So I use an app on my phone called Mint. You can go to mint.com or I guess you can go to you know, online and just go ahead and download it right to your phone, the Mint application. Some people use uh, Quicken or Intuit. Some people use uh, Microsoft Money. I'm sure there are a bunch of others out there as well. They're very simple to use. They're already pre-done. They you answer a few simple questions. You put in a few numbers and then your budget's created. And mine actually sends me notices and reminders. You're getting close to a date or in a when expenses do, you're getting close to your budgeted amount for this item for the month. You, you know, make sure your money is set aside for your, your investments this month. Are you maximizing your uh, IRA contribution? It sends me notices all the time. So these days the technology is available and it's very simple to utilize and it keeps us constantly aware of what we're doing with our money, where it's coming from and where it's going. So at the beginning of 2016, here we are in a new year. For those of you who haven't gone through the budgeting process, maybe you're a little fearful of it. Sometimes when people aren't doing so well financially, or maybe have had some financial mistakes or pain in the past, they're actually a little bit afraid to address the issue. They're afraid to say, okay, I'm actually gonna sit down and be honest about where I stand right now financially. And they also are a little fearful of actually creating the plan to move away from it. Now, whether you've done well financially in the past or are doing well financially now or haven't done so well in the past, the bottom line is we have to start somewhere in improving our finances. For those of us who are doing well, great, the budgeting process just enhances that. For those of us who have maybe have a little financial pain from things that may have happened in the past, and by the way, many of the people that I work with are in that situation or were in that situation, getting that budget in place requires us to be honest and requires us to be more financial disciplined. At the same time, it can be very motivating and inspiring to see that there is a game plan in front of us that can help us accomplish our financial goals. So the answer to that question is a resounding yes. Definitely get into the budgeting process. You can get it completed in a couple of hours at maximum using the, the processes that I recommended. If you still wanna be old school and write it down on a piece of paper, go ahead and do that. You know, here's a, my uh, business and personal financial goals for the year right here. Uh, I have an affirmation written out that I utilize on a daily basis. Here's my expenses right here. And again, we'll do another video on expenses uh, after this one, but here's my expenses. 
And then here are my personal goals for 2016. So they're all written out on two pieces of paper. And I quickly glance at these every single day and make sure that I'm staying on track. And by the way, the, tra the software that I'm using to track my income and expenses is an exact match to what my goals are for the year. Now, for more information on this topic and others, go ahead and visit my website at yourmindovermoney.com and you, sub you can subscribe to these videos for more free tips and you'll get more information on an ongoing basis. Typically weekly, you'll be able to log on and see more videos with practical tips and some other exciting things that we're working on. Thanks for watching in today.